my channel. Uh, today it's a bit snowy here in Sweden, especially in my city in Kaskuga. So I think this would be a, a good moment for me to explain a little bit history about this amazing sniper rifle, which is called the Arctic Warfare. It's one of my favorite rifle and yeah, there are several variations of it. So this gun started uh, its life in uh, back in the early 80s, uh, produced by one of the company in England called Accuracy International. The initial name for this one is the PM or uh, Precision Marksman. Sometimes it's called L96. So the gun is in operation until maybe early 90s. And then in 1990, the Swedish military, they are planning to revitalize their uh, equipment or their weapon system, including the sniper rifle. So they are opening the tender for companies to join. And one of the company that joins and also won is this British Accuracy International. The requirement from the Swedish military at the time was the weapon or the gun that could work in an extremely low temperature. Accuracy International, they came up with uh, an upgraded version of the L96 and then the name is called the Arctic Warfare Rifle. So Arctic Warfare. So it's basically a gun or a weapon that could work in an Arctic uh, condition, which is very low temperature. And then since then, the gun carries the Arctic Warfare name, and then there are several versions of, of it. So the first uh, running version was the L96A1, uh, which is uh, in Sweden, they also call it the PSG-90. Uh, it shoots uh, 7.62 by 51mm uh, NATO round. And then after that, there are several variations, such as the AWP or the Arctic Warfare Police, for example, which is used in the a police department in several countries and then of course came the more powerful version or the arctic warfare magnum which run either 300 uh, rounds or the 338 uh, lapua magnum rounds and that lapua magnum version which is the arctic warfare super magnum sometimes they call it is the one uh, currently hold the second longest sniper kill in the world today so shot from 2.4 kilometers away uh, by a the British uh, military officer. Until today, many countries are still using the Arctic Warfare uh, rifle for their uh, military use. And basically this uh, rifle has been proven to be a very reliable weapon for any condition, including or especially the cold condition. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you again on my other video. See you.